everyone and welcome back to Fisher Highlights on Pipso TV channel. I am your host Sinisha and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to set up and use a word filter. Word filter has recently been merged into free Pipso foundation so you don't have to install any additional plugins to use this feature. If you take a look here at this post, you will notice that there are some words that have been filtered out. And this is simply done with the word filter. So let me show you how to set it up and use it on your own website. Starting with Pipso 4.0, word filter will be enabled automatically. To make sure that it is, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Pipso configuration, and then scroll down to the bottom of the page until you find these settings. You can immediately see that we are using some sample bad words as a keywords to remove in posts, comments, or messages. You will most likely want to use actual bad words here, but due to the nature of the YouTube and its algorithms, I cannot use those in this video. So bear with me as I will be using very simple and normal words to filter them out from posts, comments, or messages. The way we enter these words is really important. As you can see here, it says to separate words or phrases with a comma. So let's do just that. If you take a look here, there is no comma after the last word, so we won't place the comma after last word either. So let's try like this. There will be no comma after the last word. Save it. And these words over here will now be treated as a bad words on our website. And whenever someone posts them in, uh, in posts, comments, or messages, they will be rendered like this, either all censored out or maybe with first and last letter. And you can also choose what characters will be used for the replacement. Let's use these hashtags here. Save settings. Make sure that options are updated. Go back to the front end and try to use any of those bad words in a sentence in a post, comments, or maybe chat message. Let me try in chat message first and say, my phone charger is not working. Send it. And as you can see, it's filtered out. As we said, it's going to be filtered out. Let's try to change how to render and switch it to be all censored out. Save it. We need to refresh this page now. and see our message to Shane. It's all filtered out. It will also work in posts. Let me just see, okay, box and bottle. and our sentence is filtered out. It will also work in comments as well. So, cup is half full and it is nicely filtered out. Let's change this hashtag to stars, save the settings, go to activity, Refresh it and you see how everything is nicely filtered out exactly how we want to. Let's change it back to word, first letter and the last letter. And refresh the page.
and that's it. However, there is a small limitation in the word filter because this feature is really designed to block or filter out the entire word. So if the bad word is part of the longer word, for example, let's say buttercup or ads box, these words will be filtered out too. There is really no two ways about it, because to design a proper algorithm that can read these words as uh, separate ones, it will probably require a data center and not your regular hosting service. Before I wrap up this video, I want to show you one thing that you may consider to be a bug, but it actually isn't. So when you go and try and edit this post, for example, and remove or add the content, content, sorry, save the post. Now you see that nothing is filtered out. Now, why is that? Because we edited the post in real time and the page did not refresh. But in order for all the hooks and filters to actually activate, we need to refresh the page. So let's try to refresh it. And everything will be filtered out nicely. And that is all I have prepared for you today. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, smash that like button, follow us on social media, subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Until next time, I wish you all the success with your community and have a great rest of the day. Bye.